Hey, my name's Danny, this is Mars. We're originally from Mackay, but now live in Townsville, and we've come all the way down to Patriot HQ to pick up the new X1N. Welcome. Hey, how you going? Good, yourself? How Not you been? Yeah, How's good. puppy? We've been good. Good drive down? No, it was a really good drive. It's very long, but yeah, got here in the end. Old boy went well. <laughs> yeah, no, no doubts with old boy. Went very well. good. Well, what are we here today for? Picking up a bit of an upgrade to That's the a uh, bit X2. Exciting. Yeah. Very good. So out with the X2 and in with an X1 and I see yes, sitting in there. Yes, I'm very excited. Awesome. Well, let's go in and have a look, hey? Yeah, awesome. Let's do it. What do you think? There's a bow nice on it. Nice new shiny trailer with a bow on top. Yes, it's all legit when it's got a bow on it. Exactly. It makes everything <laughs> 10 times better. Yeah. What got me into off-roading and for driving? I grew up, we went camping as a family and things like that. Um, however, for driving, I guess, came from mates. I got sick of sitting passenger in a four wheel drive and decided for my second car to buy my first four wheel drive. It's a 75 series Land Cruiser. And that was over 10 years ago now. As I've grown up, it's grown up with me. Um, so yeah, four wheel driving and camping uh, is, is a massive part of my life. It's where I unwind, camping mostly nowadays and, and just being able to relax on a beach somewhere is, you can't beat it. <laughs> Beaches is where I grew up and it's what I love. So being on a beach for one, four driving and two camping is, is massive. So camping for me, I, I've always had the ute um, and had a flatbed tray on it for a long time. As someone just by myself, it worked really well for a long time, but it gets to a point, I guess, where you have less time um, with work and commitments and you just want a quick setup. The X1N is going to be huge um, for a quick setup um, and just not having to stress about the little things. Having running water and just little things that wouldn't bother you, I guess, as a single person, but in a family, it's, it makes all the difference to a nice, relaxing camp. Um, and on the beach, yeah, huge. <laughs> Another big factor for me was it had to follow my car everywhere my car went. So if I had a trailer, it had to be amazing, it had to be incredible, and it had to go everywhere I was going anyway. It, I didn't want a trailer to ever slow me down from going anywhere. The reason I decided to go for Patriot was uh, it's Australian made. Um, and that coming from, I guess, a mechanical perspective and working a lot on things from a lot of different countries, you really notice the difference in quality. I didn't have a doubt about it because I know that if I had a question, if I had a query, if I had a problem, you know, everyone who knows about the products right here, like down the road. New features on the X1N, I guess what I'm most excited for is having the XO rack as opposed to just a standard, I guess, roof rack. The XO rack being able to have a rooftop tent on it, but then also remove it very easily to be able to carry different items. I just have a really big camp chair that's enormously oversized and just carrying random things like that that you wouldn't be able to do if you couldn't take your rooftop panel. So that's massive. The Dometic rooftop tent on it is, in my opinion, after seeing it being set up, I'd only seen photos, I'd only seen short little clippets, but it being set up, yeah, is, is so quick. Like, it's cool. <laughs> oh, so there's like, Windows each side. That's so you got windows both sides. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one on the back as well. Oh, three. I'm excited as well for the plate kitchen. I've never sort of had something all in one place. Having that kitchen there is is going to be really handy because I guess it's right next to the swing away Weber arm, which I've used a lot in past trailers and I love it. It's just so handy to pull it out, get it away from the trailer cooking on the Weber, but also to have the backup Dometic stove in there as well with the side wings, because obviously a lot of our camping is beach camping. So to stop the, yeah, gas blowing out, yeah. You better set your peak or awning, which is also oh, new yeah. for 2021. Yes. And I think it's probably my favorite oh, really? part yeah. of the whole trailer. <laughs> and I think exciting. you're gonna love it as well. A lot of the beach camping we do is in direct sunlight, there's not a lot of shade, so having the shade extend all the way over the barbecue area. Yeah, it's really handy. First time setting it up today, so I'm pretty sure I could nail it now. Like, it's a simple process. The magnets instead of clips. I don't know why that makes such a difference, but it does, because I, I struggle with height again. So anything that makes putting something away easier for me above my head is, yeah, good. 
a lot of the times we go camping, I'm bringing phones, cameras, drones, um, and being able to keep them charged with that Red Arc management system there as well. That's a massive, I guess, stress taken away. Like you don't have to worry. Um, I don't have to stress about power or batteries. You know, everything's there and it's, it's gonna last. Excited to get, I guess, off-road um, in the X1N and try and test out the new features. Got airbags, that's a bit exciting. I have airbags in the rear of the 75 as well. So I just feel that airbag technology is massive and it's exciting for me to be able to use it and test it out and see where it shines. Um, even just the ability to level the trailer, like with an airbag, instead of having to be, oh, this ground's not flat, that ground's not flat, the tent's on a weird angle. Like, yeah, it's just gonna come in handy. Big trips coming up, I suppose. The most exciting and closest is uh, the Fink Desert Race. I've never been to the NT, and I never wanted to go to the NT unless I felt like I was fully prepared. So I guess having the X1N is gonna be uh, awesome for having a home base and, and having everything there and not having to pull things out of my tray or pull things out of the canopy on the car, being able to disconnect the car and, and drive down to the beach, for example. Um, there's so many benefits to it just being um, a, a home for us to explore outwards from um, and it's not going to slow us down. So yeah, we're excited to get out there. Okay, so anybody who's interested in following us along, um, there's, there's going to be videos. Um, I pretty much on Instagram every single day, Denny underscore Mon. Mars has his own channel too, in case you want to follow Mars. It's Mars underscore the Cooley, but we are on YouTube. All my links are on Instagram, so you can head over from there. Okay, we can go. Thank you.